Here is a problem involving speed. What should be our approach to this problem? Step 1. Understand the problem. Read the entire word problem thoroughly. Draw a diagram to illustrate the scenario presented in the problem. At 3 p.m., Josiah left Dakota City for Taki Village, which is 330 kilometers away. He was driving at an average speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Two hours later, Vincent left Taki Village and drove at an average speed of 82 kilometers per hour to Dakota City. At what time would they pass each other? Now let us draw a diagram to illustrate the problem. The two places mentioned are Dakota City and Taki Village. The distance between these two places is 330 kilometers. Josiah and Vincent were traveling in opposite directions towards each other. Josiah traveled from Dakota City to Taki Village. He started traveling at 3 p.m. at an average speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Vincent traveled from Taki Village to Dakota City. He started traveling two hours later, that is, at 5 p.m. at an average speed of 82 kilometers per hour. We have to find the time when the two of them pass each other. Now that you have an idea of the scenario, let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. Extract more information from the known values and identify the values that will help with the solution. We need to extract more information from our diagram to enable us to solve the problem. Let us draw another diagram with abbreviated terms and add in the extracted information. We'll call it the speed line diagram. Let's start with a straight line to illustrate the distance the two of them have to travel. On the left end, let's have DC to represent Dakota City. And on the right end, let's have TV to represent Taki Village. The distance between these places is 330 kilometers. Josiah traveled from Dakota City to Taki Village. So above DC, we use J to represent Josiah and an arrow pointing in the direction of Taki Village to indicate the direction he was traveling. Josiah started his journey at 3 p.m. Let's indicate it beside J. Let's use S to represent his average speed, which was 70 kilometers per hour. Now let's move over to Vincent. Vincent traveled from Dakota City to Taki Village. So above TV, we use V to represent Vincent and an arrow pointing in the direction of Dakota City to indicate the direction he was traveling. Vincent started his journey at 5 p.m. Let's indicate it beside V. Let's use S to represent his average speed, which was 82 kilometers per hour. They passed each other at a certain point. We'll estimate the passing point and place an X on the line. What are we to find? The time both passed each other. Let's label it time with a question mark. Now we are ready to add or extract more information to a speed line diagram to help us with the solution. Note that to do any comparison, both Josiah and Vincent need to start off at the same time. That means the comparison starts from the same time, 5 p.m. Josiah had traveled a certain distance during the two hours before Vincent started his journey at 5 p.m. Let's mark out the position where Josiah might be at when it was 5 p.m. We'll use a curly bracket to mark out this section where we are going to add some extracted information. The period of time in this section is two hours. Let's indicate this information with t equals 2 hours. 
Vincent only started his journey after Josiah had travelled for two hours. So we need to exclude the distance where Josiah had travelled in the first two hours. We do not know the distance yet, but we need to find out. Let's indicate it in the diagram as D equals an unknown number of kilometres. The remaining distance after this section is the distance where both travelled towards each other from 5 pm. Do we know this distance? We need to find out. Let's indicate it in the diagram as D equals an unknown number of kilometres also. Notice that we won't be able to find the time they passed each other unless we know the time taken to travel this section first. Let's indicate it in the diagram as T equals an unknown number of hours. Now that we have devised the plan, let's proceed to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Work out the solution as planned. From our diagram, we can see that the first step would be to find out the distance Josiah travelled in the first two hours. At this point, we would like to recall the speed triangle formula to help us remember the essential information needed to solve the problem. To find distance travelled, we multiply speed by time taken. So we write, in the first two hours, distance travelled equals 70 times 2. This is equal to 140 kilometres. The remaining distance to travel would be 330 minus 140. This is equal to 190 kilometres. From 5 pm onwards, Josiah and Vincent travelled at different average speeds and towards each other. In total, both had to travel 190 kilometres. How much time did they take to travel 190 kilometers? Let's find out. Josiah traveled at 70 kilometers per hour, while Vincent traveled at 82 kilometers per hour. So in one hour, the distance traveled by both of them would be 70 plus 82, which is 152 kilometers. Time taken to travel 152 kilometers equals one hour. So, time taken to travel 190 kilometers equals 190 divided by 152. This is equal to 1.25 hours. 1.25 hours is 1 hour 15 minutes. Hence, after 1 hour 15 minutes from 5 p.m., Josiah and Vincent passed each other. 1 hour from 5 p.m. is 6 p.m. 15 minutes from 6 p.m. is 6.15 p.m. They would pass each other at 6.15 p.m. Is this the correct time? Let's proceed to step 4, a very important step to find out. Step 4. Check back. Verify the result or answer. Let's verify our answer. If 6.15pm is the time they passed each other, then the distance travelled by Josiah from 3pm to 6.15pm plus the distance travelled by Vincent from 5pm to 6.15pm must be 330 kilometres. Let's check it out. The time taken by Josiah to reach the passing point would be 2 plus 1.25, which is 3.25 hours. The distance travelled by him is 70 times 3.25, which is 227.5 kilometres. For Vincent, the time taken to reach the passing point is 1.25 hours. The distance travelled by him is 82 
times 1.25, which is 102.5 kilometers. The total distance traveled by both of them is equal to 227.5 plus 102.5, which is 330 kilometers. Hence, we have verified that 6.15 p.m. is the correct answer. Now let's write the statement. They would pass each other at 6.15 p.m. Well done! We have solved the problem.